Hello everyone. Welcome back to the subject waste management. In this session, I am going to discuss one of the most important topic, which comes under module number two. The name of the topic is waste stream assessment. What do I mean by waste stream assessment? This is one of the important university question. Explain waste stream assessment. What are the different methods of waste stream assessment? Let's get started. Moving on to the discussion, what is waste stream assessment? Waste stream assessment is nothing but it is a systematic evaluation of the types, quantities, sources, and characteristics of waste generated within the specific area or organization or industry or a particular community. It is nothing but to identify how much amount of waste is getting generated. What is the type of waste which is generated? Where is the source of waste generation? What is the characteristics of waste? It may be physical characteristics or chemical characteristics. So such assessment is generally known as waste stream assessment. So the waste stream assessment that is basically collecting the data or and gathering the data related to the waste. So if you do the waste stream assessment properly, then we will get the exact information about how much amount of waste is getting generated, how much amount of waste is recycled, and how much amount of waste is re reused. So such kind of information that is able to obtain if you perform the waste stream assessment systematically. It is one of the managerial approach. Okay. Also, we will come to know about the financial aspects of the waste. So how much amount of waste can be utilized for economic purpose. Also, we'll understand, we can plan some managerial activities for taking the decision. So making the decision making as well as taking the suitable action for minimization of the, like uh, to manage the waste effectively. So these are the other things which we can, uh, opt we can make out using the waste stream assessment. That means uh, it helps to target the waste management activities also it helps to identify the suitable managerial planning. All right. Also, it helps for the decision making. So, these are the basic information about waste stream assessment. So, many of the statistics are revealed or many of the like a survey. After the survey, we'll be getting the result. Those results will be obtaining a waste stream assessment. So, let's make, let me get continue. It is not a one-time activity. It is a continuous process, not like one one day or it, it is started with one day and stopping with another. It's not like that. It's a continuous process. The, the characteristics of waste are, will be depending on the region, community. Also, it depends on the seasons. These are the various factors which were affecting the waste stream assessment. Depends on the community, region and the seasons. So moving on to the further discussion. What are the different types of, what are the various types of waste stream assessment? We'll have a brief discussion. Waste stream assessment can be broadly divided into two types. What are they? One is rationale for analysis. It is also known as logical, uh, like a logical approach or based on the historical information. So it is generally called a rationale of analysis, rationale for analysis. Second one is generally called a field investigation. So there are sub methods of field investigation such as waste sorting, vehicle weighing and field visit. So we will discuss about two types of waste stream assessment separately. Moving on to the discussion, I'm going to talk about rationale for analysis. What is the meaning of rationale for analysis? So I'm going to explain the meaning of rationale for analysis. It is basically uh, to understand how much amount of waste is getting produced, what kind of waste that is getting generated, what is the type of waste which is going to generate in future? Just like a forecasting. So how these things can be obtained? Yes, these things can be obtained based on the proper data collection. How you can collect the data? Using various magazine, journals, survey, etc. Like that you can collect the various information. So it helps for effective implementation. Effective implementation of technologies. Also, the quantifies the amount and type of materials suitable for processing and recovery. 
So for taking the action for the suitable waste management, definitely uh, this rationale of analysis will be really helpful. Also, deciding the appropriate technologies and equipment, what kind of technology can be adopted. Also, we can perform the forecast. Today, we are computing this much of amount of waste has been generated as of today. Now, what about the waste generation in the coming days or next day? Those things can be done with the help of rationale for analysis. So, this is the concept of rationale for analysis. It's, it's not like a real time. What we are going to do is we'll collect a group of data. So, based on the data, we are anticipating what is going to happen in the next day. Okay, what might be the production of waste? How will you overcome that particular waste? How will you manage that? For example, we can plot the various graph, various curves. Based on the curves, we can do the suitable forecasting. In that, you can see uh, these are the line bar diagram. Here, are some cases we are using pie diagram. Okay, based on that, we are performing various analysis. Okay, it may be like a software or manual. Ultimately, we are forecasting or we are anticipating what could be the total amount of waste that is happening in the coming days. Moving on to the further discussion. What is field investigation? Field investigation is nothing but like a, a different methodology we are adopting. We use sorting table, especially in the transfer station. Measuring box, uh, especially uh, for what kind of waste you are producing or what kind of waste is producing in that particular territory. And weighing machines. These are the different tools. Like uh, you can see the picture of sorting table. Okay, segregation. So we have different type of table in different area and we can separate uh, the different type of waste by using manual method or automated method. Similarly, we can see the measuring box and the weighing box here. So weighing box, uh, you can use the load cell, concept of load cell, you can, load cell is a transducer, you can measure the weight of the waste directly. So these are the major things regarding the field investigation. I hope this is clear to everybody. Uh, similarly, if I talk about like waste sorting, in the so during the sorting, uh, we can identify that we have to consider physical and the chemical characteristics. If I talk about the physical characteristics, especially density, volume, mass, etc., where the chemical characteristics involved, like what whether the waste contains protein, carbohydrate, vitamins, etc. Also, we'll check the pH content. So it can be done manually. Sorting will be done manually and uh, we can do in uh, automated fashion also. Using the sorting table, we can use the measuring boxes, bin boxes, platform weighing machine, etc. These are the concept regarding the waste sorting. Hope it is clear to everybody. So sorting in the sense, you know, segregation. We, we As we can see, different dustbins, glass, metal, then uh, paper, etc. So this is one of the method of Waste sorting, segregation. Another one is called vehicle weighing. So we can use the load cells. So using the load cell is a transducer which will convert the weight into electrical quantity. So for the heavy weight, you can measure. You cannot measure the heavy weight by using the normal type of uh, like a normal weighing machine. So it is better to go for load cell. Okay, so that you can measure the heavy weight. So vehicle weighing. First of all, what you are supposed to do is you need to measure the weight of the vehicle. Uh, then uh, the empty vehicle you are supposed to measure. So once once you once it is measured the empty weight of the empty vehicle, afterwards, whenever the vehicle is carrying the waste that you are supposed to measure, then calculate the difference between uh, the vehicle which includes the waste, vehicle without carrying the waste. If you compute the difference, obviously you will be getting the uh, amount of waste uh, which is carried by that particular vehicle. Okay, so this method is generally called as vehicle weighing. Number one, you need to measure uh, before initially you have to measure the weight of the vehicle without carrying waste. The afterwards vehicle will come with the suitable amount of waste. Then you have to measure the overall weight. If you take the difference between the uh, truck or any type of compactor vehicle which carries the weight and uh, which carries without weight. If you compute the difference, obviously you'll be getting the total amount of waste which is carried by that particular vehicle. Field visit is another method. Why field visit is required? To get the real-time information. So if you visit a particular place, you will come to know what kind of waste is generated, what is the physical and chemical characteristics, what is the nature of the territory, 
So many information can be obtained by directly inspecting the particular field. These are the typical example of the field visit. People can, we can interact with the people, we can do the live survey, we can do the primary data collection, etc. This is one of the most effective method, but the thing is very much costly. So we can visit the industry, we can visit the institution, right? Uh, then unprocessed data will be getting. So based on that, we can take a suitable decision. But the thing is, it is very difficult to uh, move on that particular field investigation. So we can do the questionnaire set of assessment. Okay, we can talk with the plan manager and we can uh, talk with the head of the institution and get to know what kind of waste is getting produced. Okay, then collection of samples of sealed polythene bags followed by the laboratory analysis to identify the physical and chemical characteristics is one of the examples. So this is another important method to evaluate the waste stream assessment. Okay, uh, based on that, we can take a suitable decision. Okay, so this is regarding field visit. Okay, field visit also will be helpful to get an idea about what kind of waste is getting generated. In this session, I have discussed about what do we mean by waste stream assessment. So the significance of waste stream assessment is the major summary of this particular title. So anyway, we need to take a suitable decision on waste management. We need to identify what kind of waste is getting produced. What is the characteristics? Those things can be identified using waste stream assessment. Two types of waste stream assessment are available. Rational for analysis and another one is called field investigation. Rational for analysis, we never go anywhere. We'll, uh, we'll just observe the information. We'll just collect the information, do the analysis and the forecast. So that is called a rational for analysis where the field investigation includes waste sorting, uh, vehicle weighing and a field visit. The second method is actually real time uh, where the first method is basically hist based on his historical information, historical data. So these are all the things we discussed in this particular session. Let me know if you have any questions related to waste stream assessment. I am very happy to answer them. Thank you so much for listening to this video. Happy learning.